We begin by praising God, and our praise is never enough. And then we thank God, and our thanks is never enough. And then we remind ourselves we're not made for this world. This is not our abode. This is not our domain. This is not our purpose. We're just visitors. And then we have a place of permanence that we're going to. And then we warn ourselves that we're returning to our Creator. We didn't create ourselves, we didn't make ourselves, we don't even own ourselves. Be mindful of God, brothers and sisters. That's the purpose of today. Are you mindful of God? That's the point of coming today on Friday. So I'm just going to ask myself and all of us, are you mindful of God? Am I mindful of God? Are we mindful of God? Do we treat God the way He deserves to be treated? We're all about my rights. Do we give God his rights? <laughs> and don't die without having surrendered to God. Have you surrendered to God yet? Or do we surrender to ourselves? Did I, do I surrender to myself? <laughs> to my wants? Do I surrender to my desires? To my thoughts? To my opinions? To my rights? impressed with myself to my ideas so are you mindful of god aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fa astaghfiru seek forgiveness from allah he forgives all sins الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله God is our owner, our maker, our creator, our master and sometimes we forget and it's okay if we forget as long as we remember and make it up it's okay to make mistakes as long as we follow a mistake with something beautiful it erases it follow a bad deed with a good deed it erases it so it's okay if we forget. But we remember, and we remember, then we get close to God. And dhikr is remembrance. We're going back. There's a day that's going to end this world. There's a day that's going to destroy this dunya. There's a day where every house will crumble. And that day, it's for all of humanity, but our day might come a little sooner. Our day might come a little sooner when we leave this earth, when we leave this world, when we return to our maker, when we return to our permanent abode. How much do we focus on our temporary abode and how much do we focus on our permanent abode? Abode is home. How much do we build for our temporary home and how much do we build for our permanent home? How much do we plan for our temporary home and how much do we plan for our permanent home? Be mindful of Allah. He's watching you and watching me and watching us in every moment. Be mindful of Allah with your ears and what you listen to. Be mindful of Allah with your tongue and what you say. Be mindful of Allah in your relationships. How do you treat your mother? How do you treat your father? How do you treat your wife? How do you treat your husband? Is your lens, there's two lenses. One lens is my rights and one lens is my duties. And if our lens is my rights, then prepare for misery. Because all we're counting is what's missing. And if your lens is my duties, then prepare to be happy. Because the more you serve others, the more Allah will send people to serve you. 
The more you take care of others, the more Allah will take care of you. Take care of Allah, take care of you. Take care of Allah, you'll find Him in front of you. We forget, we get caught up, we get lost. But we're all returning to our Maker, we're all returning to our Creator, so prepare for that moment. Don't forget it. This world is not even worth the wing of one mosquito in the sight of God. Let's not trade the temporary for the permanent. Ya ajaban kull al ajbi lil musaddiqi bidar al khulud wa huwa yas'a li dar al ghurur. How wondrous, how wondrous is it for someone who believes in the abode of permanence and all he's doing is striving for the abode of te te the temporary. How wondrous, how, how parad paradoxical, how wild, how crazy, how foolish. So all of us remind ourselves this is we weren't made, we're not made for this world. We're only visitors. At best, we're strangers. So prepare for that reunion with, with that, your God. Prepare for that reunion with Allah. Prepare for that permanent abode. And empty your heart and empty our hearts from love of this dunya and from being so self-impressed, from being obsessed. When we remember the nearness of death, it poisons love of this life. When we remember the nearness of death, it poisons the love of this life. And when we don't remember the nearness of death, the dunya takes over our heart. The dunya takes over our heart. <laughs> and then we covet everything in this world. All we want is more of this world and more of this world and more of this world. Why? Because that's where our thoughts are. Because we're forgetting we're forgetting that we're, in the, we're, that we're just temporary visitors. <laughs> we forget that. So then we covet this world. And we'll do anything for this world. We covet it. And then, and then what happens? Our heart is drenched in the dunya. Our heart is immersed in the dunya. Our heart is immersed in material, materialism. And then what happens? We're so, we forget the next life. And so we fail to plan for it. And then we covet this life and we're so eager to collect it. And so death, the remembrance of death, poisons love of this world. And the remembrance and the obsession and the coveting of this world poisons our actions of worship. Our attachment to this world, our coveting of this world is all these, it, it what? It, it poisons our worship. Because we don't do it, because we fail, to, we fail to plan, we forget. And we're just planning eagerly for this world. So I remind myself and I remind all of us to be mindful of Allah. Because we're going to meet Him one day and this life is not worth it. Some people trade this life for the next and some people trade the next for this life. That's like, that's... If you want to put an analogy, trading dirt for diamonds. <laughs> and diamonds, arguably, I don't know what they're worth, but trading dirt for diamonds, or trading diamonds for dirt. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reunite all of us in paradise. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the ummah. May Allah restore harmony to humanity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us victory over our own self and let us see the truth as the truth and follow it and see false as false, as false and protect us from it. May we honor our mothers. May we obey our fathers. May we be gentle to our wives. May we be gentle to our husbands. May we keep this tongue behind the, behind the cage of the teeth. <laughs> keep this tongue behind the cage of the teeth. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu said, مَا نَدِمْتُ عَلَى كَلَامِ مَرَّةً عَلَى سُكُوتِ مَرَّةً وَلَكِنْ نَدِمْتُ عَلَى كَلَامِ مِرَارَةً Never did I regret a silence, but many times did I regret an utterance. 
من صمت نجا. Whoever is silent is saved. We ask Allah to send peace and blessings on humanity's teacher, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. We ask Allah to be gentle with us. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al-nar. We ask Allah to make us people of taqwa, people be mindful and aware of, of Allah and aware with our, with, mindful with our ears and mindful with our tongue and mindful with our eyes, mindful with our relationships, mindful with our money. May Allah not make us people of the dunya. We are in the dunya, but not of the dunya. This dunya mazra'atul akhira. This world is just, it's just we plant here so we can harvest there. And so what are, what are you planting here? What am I planting here? What are we planting here? Be mindful of Allah, wherever you are. And follow a mistake with something beautiful, it erases it. And treat people kindly. That's it. <laughs> Be mindful of Allah wherever you are. Follow a mistake with something beautiful to erase it and treat people kindly.